Hello. Hi guys, welcome back to a special edition of One Man's Junk. We just came back from a very successful day hunting. I got all this to go through, guys. It's about, I'd say about six, seven kilos, about 12 pounds worth of accessories. I don't know what's in here. I just bought them all. We're gonna pour it out and see what we got. Okay, as you saw, we got two bags. So I'm gonna pour the first bag out. Guys, I genuinely don't even know what is in here. It was all laid out on a table. And like I said, I just went there and I bought it all. I paid like $100 for everything. So uh, let's dive in, let's see what we got. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna be sharing it with you guys. So um, without further ado, let's see. Okay, we're off to a flyer. Look at that, we got some G1 here. We got G1 Transformers. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's G1 too, that's a pretender. So I actually brought some little uh, sandwich bags here. So uh, we're gonna go through it, let's see what we got. Let's see, we'll do a Transformers bag. And, uh, oh, got a lot of Dino Rider parts here. So we're gonna go through that. Oops, just a long sign, Dino Rider parts. So uh, we'll make another bag of Dino Rider parts then. I'm seeing a lot of Centurions, seeing some Ninja Turtles. Oh, I'm seeing some nice Centurion parts here. Okay, now let's let's get this going. <laughs> All right, so where did I see Centurions? Let's see. Man, there's just so much to take in here. There you go, there's some, there's some Centurions right here. Some more Centurions. Here you go, guys. This is this is a phenomenal, phenomenal pickup. This is easily one of my best. Secret Wars. All right, let's speed it up. Ooh, look at that! Nice, nice. That, of course, is Lionel's sword. That is Thundercats. Okay, oh, here's a piece that's always missing. So that, it's not a great figure, but it's a piece that's always missing. You're gonna see it's a rat with a mohawk. Any guesses? Ninja Turtles Rat King. All right, let's see. Oh, that's pretty cool. That was a Dungeons and, Dungeons and Dragons um, knockoff. These are like little miniature um, kind of frog companion guys, but it is a KO. It is not Dungeons and Dragons, even though it looks like it. Oh, we got some stuff that's a little trickier here. Tonka Supernaturals. Army Ants, that's a Thorax. Oh, see now this is interesting. I'm not sure what that belongs to. But I am seeing a lot of these kind of pieces. This here, which is actually, it's quite an obscure line. Oh, this especially, this just confirms it. So that's basically what you hold it off. These were from Bandai Tacky Stretchoid Bendems. Um, unfortunately, you'll find the pieces, but the figures are a lot harder to come by because um, they will degrade. Um, they're kind of like little miniature stretch Armstrong, so it will degrade. You'll find the accessories, but the figures, yeah, not so much. Oh, hello. Guys, look at that. Nice Motu Shield tie, one no less. Nice. Check that, guys. Kenner Superpowers, that's Green Lantern. Excellent piece. This is really exciting. Man, what are we gonna pull out next? Oh, but yep, Centurions, you can tell. It doesn't look like a typical Centurions piece, but you can tell from the connector. Oh, that's a nice piece. Look at that, that's um, the companion for Copper Kid. Silverhawks, Kenner, nice little piece there. Oh, no ways. Guys, check it, new ring. Love it. It's a keeper. Wow, 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 look at that. Got a Battle Beast accessory as well. Little trick with the Battle Beasts, it actually tells you who it belongs to on it. So it says number 47. So this belongs to number 147 of the Battle Beasts. And look at that, it's a nice battle axe for He-Man. I can tell from the shade, you can see it's different. 
This is for um, battle armor, He-Man. Okay, so we're just gonna fire through the Joes. Like I said, I'm not a big Joe guy just because there's just so much of it and it's just so hard to, to sort. Probably going to be saying, well, you look like you're doing a pretty decent job of it there, Mike. It's like, yeah, well, I learned this the hard way. Uh, this is hours and hours and hours of work put in looking up accessories and becoming familiar with accessories. That's why this is just all hard work. Oh, nice. Some G1. A lot of G1. A lot of G1. Mm -hmm. All right, and we'll do a recap at the end as well, of course. Kind of see what we got. So here's a little trick. Something I mentioned, which is that G.I. Joe's always has a lot of accessories, particularly missiles, which can make them ident uh, particularly difficult to identify or even complete. Um, but here's a little trick when I'm looking at missiles. If I'm not sure if it's a Joe missile, they've usually got this little hole here. That's where it attaches to the vehicle. So that's usually a big giveaway. So when you see that, See, you can be fairly certain that it is a G.I. Joe accessory. Now, that's not a given. It's not a given, but like I said, it's very likely if you do see that. See, for example, this one. This is definitely a G.I. Joe. You can tell by the plastic, the shape. All right, guys, this is not fast forward. This is me working in real time here. All right, gets a little easier now. There we go. Gets a little easier now to separate and sort out once you've taken out the bulk of it. That's be cool. Okay, and here's a, a few that don't really have a bag. So that's Coleco Rambo for Rambo himself. Um, that's for the Land Shark. Uh, Motu, of course, Master of the Universe. Um, ooh, Black Star. That is for the Palace Guard, who actually, yeah, I thought I saw his helmet in there as well. That's nice. Is a Beetlejuice Companion, another one for the collection. Um, that's Voltron. That is the red gun that clips onto the tail. Pretty sure the black gun's in there as well. It's pretty common. Oh, there it is. Yep. Really common. These these actually just clip onto the back of the Panache Palace. Uh, Tales of the Lions. Here's an interesting piece. Look at that. That is a Remco Warrior Beast leg. Interchangeable, but unfortunately it does have the dreaded plastic rot. Look at that. That is a phenomenal piece. That is actually Centurion's Dr. Terror. Or is it Dr. Claw? It's, well, it's the claw for Dr. Terror. So that's a really nice piece. More Beetlejuice. Here you go. That's for Adam. Famous scene. And that is probably the most destroyed power sword I have ever witnessed in my whole life. It is so destroyed that I'm gonna keep it. Okay, we got the bags already ready. Let's move on to the second bag and see what we got. That first bag was a pretty darn good haul so far. KO, that's actually a Defender of the Planets. So that's a nice KO piece. So with the Motu. Right here. Oh, some more Motu, that's Strider. Um, that's for the trash. Ooh, lovely, lovely Dino Riders. Dino Riders, Dino Riders, Dino Riders. That's great. Oh, wow, look at that, guys, trap jaw, Malaysia, but look at that, perfect, perfect, lovely belt, nice. Look at, oops. Oh, I've never seen, oh, I've never seen it. I've never seen this piece, this is Power Pack Heroes Ghostbusters, but I've never seen it with a projectile, so that is great. It's a Ninja Turtle watch, or what's left of it, anyway. Oh, that's pretty cool. You don't find that too often. Um, so that, of course, is Tyco Battletech. I had found this accessory. They're fairly easy to identify. You'll see it's this pretty bright, luminous, kind of orangey red. So it's pretty, pretty easy to identify. 
That's a nice piece. Visionary's helmet. There you go. Oh, wow, guys, look at that. Oh, wow, he's severely discolored. He's beat up, but um, hey, that is, you know, superpowers Clark Kent, the mail away. Ah, broken thumb. Hey, still, I didn't even know he was in there. So that's a lovely little extra. Ah, more Thundercats. Look at that, Jackal Man. Nice. Oh, look who that is. It's the Joker, superpowers. More visionaries. Guys, I'm sure you can gather by now, this was an absolutely phenomenal pickup. I'm very, very pleased with this. Very, very pleased. Look at that. G1 Transformers, more Wheeled Warriors. Ah, oh, there you go, that's Kenner. Megaforce again. So that's a line Kenner Megaforce that, oh, never mind. Look at this. Mm. Supernaturals. Oh, nice. That's Grun's accessory. Thundercats, LGN. G1. Another Visionaries accessory here. That's the staff. Ghostbusters, Scream um, Fright Features. That's Peter Venkman. All right, guys, we are almost done. Sorting through it. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish it never ended, but uh, yeah, it's almost done. All right, we are finally all done. It only took an hour, but we managed to sort through all that stuff. This is the unidentified. We'll go through that later, perhaps with a friend. And here we have the Ninja Turtles. So quite the selection, nothing too crazy. The pick of the bunch has to be the foot soldier mace, which incredibly is not damaged nor broken. Is we've got a really nice uh, selection of pretender parts, and we've got a very good start to completing a Ultra Magnus, being that we've got three fists out of four. Some late 80s goodness here. We've got, of course, it's all Kenner, and it's the real Ghostbusters, that's the Power Pack Heroes, as well as the Fright Features. We got Beetlejuice Companions, which as I'm sure you know, I collect, I've got quite a few of them. And the Copper Kid accessory is definitely the pick of the bunch. So we have some Black Star, that's the Palace Guard. We got some Thundercats, you got the Groon, the Lion-O Sword, that's great. Um, we got some Remco Warrior Beasts, that's the leg. You got the arm there from Sparkle, Defenders of the Planet, as well as the Shield. Um, but a nice assortment of Masters of the Universe. The best piece has to be the He-Man Shield and the Trapjaw Belt. But my favorite is, of course, the sword, which is beyond ruined. I'm absolutely keeping that. So you see here, there's a few figures. They're missing arms. That's no big deal because you can see there that the joints are not broken. The arm is just missing. It does pop off, so they are still useful. And we've got a few accessories as well. But definitely the pick of the bunch has to be, even though he is damaged, is that mail away Clark Kent figure. Here we've got a nice little Dino Rider assortment and I've managed to figure out uh, which creatures or dinosaurs they do belong to and it is a nice plethora of dinosaurs with very difficult to pronounce names. So we'll start off with the Monoclunus, the Placerius and Protoceratops. Here's another great lot. So these are 80s action figures that had holograms on their chest. I already showed you the Battle Beast accessory that I picked out. I think that was number 43. But we've got these guys too. These are the Visionaries and Supernaturals. So they all, like I said, have a hologram on their chest of which the Supernaturals, the hologram is obscured with this accessory here, the chest piece. The glow in the dark accessory is also supernatural, but the best part is these three helmets, which all look completely different, different styles, different paint schemes, are all from the same series. Okay, and here we have the Centurion's lot. So I would consider this to be the uh, the best of the bunch, the crown jewels from that pickup. Here you have a lot of accessories for Ace McCloud, including his helmet. You've got some pieces for Jake Rockwell, you've got some pieces for Hacker, you've got both of his accessories, so that's really good. Um, but we've also got a lot of pieces for Dr. Terror, including his helmet, so that's great. But my favorite thing definitely has to be that I did find a near complete power pack. Unfortunately, it is missing the main power pack part, but we got a good start to it, so I'm very pleased with that for sure. 